Hey, today we're going to go try and blow out some sprinklers. So let's get started. Welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to go out and uh, blow out some sprinklers with the with the compressor here. So let's see if we have any luck. Let's go. Okay, we're at the first property. We're going to get our hoses hooked up here. And then we're going to uh, start it and choke it and start it. And um, yeah, let's go do it. So the homeowner is going to go turn off the water. This is where we're going to want to be. I've blown this one out before. We're going to want to turn all this stuff here. So we're going to want to when we get done we're going to 45 this. We're going to 45 this. But for right now I'm going to close this. And then these two pickcocks here, I don't know if you can see that or not, will be 45 in this one and 45 in the one back here. Once we're all said and done. But for now we're going to close this one which goes back into the house. And uh, yeah, we're just going to attach to here since there's no port. Are they winning? They are, but the Bears got the ball and they're driving. Oh. So they're up 21 to 16. Oh. This is the one you want to watch. Yep. Here. Yep. So then we're gonna we're gonna monitor the pressure on this gauge right here, and we're gonna start it. We gotta kind of play with this a little bit. Zone two is in the back, there it goes. Just keep these going until we get some air. We don't have to get all the water out of the system, we just I want to make sure we get the bulk of it because we don't want any pipes freezing. So we've got air flowing here, but we're going to go longer. And we're going to cycle through the system one more time. We want to make sure we got everything out. Everything's blowing air for the most part. Except that end one down there, we got some water coming out of it still. Oh, yeah. We'll keep that going until it goes to air. Okay, we got air out of that. We're going to go to three. I suppose we're standing in three. Nope. Well, three is on the street, okay. Yeah. Customer is able to start the sprinklers with his phone, which those systems are nice. If you don't have one already, I highly suggest getting one. Because that is nice, especially when it comes time to blowouts. It's 
stream of water coming out of there. <laughs> this is not too bad. Yeah, thankfully it was pointed the other way. Getting this uh, this other zone here. We got a uh, sprinkler head down at the end there that's spitting out some water. Right down there, I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. I was going to say, what is that? Is that the Viking's horn? No, it's, <laughs> it's that. Yeah. Well, they were running away with the game early on. Yeah. Now they're letting Chicago back in. That Cousins went 17 for 17 pass flight out of the game. Really? A lot of air here guys, so it's looking good. We're going to keep it going a little bit longer. I don't see anything leaking, any water. Okay, and you think zone, the next zone's behind me? Alright, that's... There you go, right here. A lot of water coming out of that one right there. And we got a couple more down over there. So just spit some air. Really a lot coming out of there. She is monitoring the pressure for me to make sure we stay at the right blowout pressure. We got a couple heads on this side. I think they're both looking pretty good. I, I did spot one over here that's shooting out a little bit of water. We, we were gonna call it good, but a little bit of water coming out of this one yet. So we're gonna wait. It's an air water mix, it'd be fine, but I like to be extra careful, make sure we're not going to have any problems. We're going to run through a second time. So, we're good here. So we were keeping this gauge at 45. And uh, she was monitoring that. We can adjust the pressure right here. I got a couple of adapters in here because I don't have a hose this big long enough to do the whole job. So we've converted it down to regular air holes for now, which is working perfectly fine for us. And up to the house up there. Oh, so I need to get a screwdriver to. Uh, so I need to get a screwdriver. Uh, so we're gonna take all this stuff off of here. So for the winter, we're going to 45 this, we're going to 45 this one, we're going to keep this open, I always keep these open, then there's a couple of valves right here, if I can get in there, we're going to, we're just going to close these, actually we're going to 45 these. Now these are caps right here. You could actually unscrew these and you can put your compressor into there. Some people prefer to do that so they're not going through the vacuum brake. And what, there's one back here, I don't know if you can see it. We're gonna, 40, we're gonna 45 that one. There we go. Winterized. Very cool. We're right at our second property here and she's gonna go ahead and hook that adapter up. And then we 
got gauge there. So there she's doing pick it up twice. Put it in here. There we go. And now we're going to bring this up to the house. This adapter will just go right into this valve here. This cockpit. Pitcock. Now we don't have to go through this. I can shut this, this valve behind here. I can close this. We don't want no air running back through this way. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to close this one right here. That was actually already closed. Okay, and then I need to open this one up to uh, let air through. So we won't be blowing through this now. Um. Here's a hose. Weird angle. All right, we're ready to blow. Okay, we got one head going here. Heads over here. Okay, here's the controller. This is what's going on. I've got zone one open. That's what's going on here. So I got to get this shut down. Shut that off. That's off. Now we can start over again. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to start over again. Why is that going to die? There we go. That's more like it. I had the, the sprinkler controller was on and uh, I was opening valves so there wasn't anything coming up. I thought that was kind of weird that we weren't getting any results. So we're starting over again. Lesson learned. Check the controller first. Homeowner must have turned it on. I don't know what the deal was but okay. That looks good. Those are blowing nothing but air. So, awesome. Let's go ahead and get the next one done. Those are really hard to turn, by the way. These are really hard there we go now they're shooting out like they're supposed to be and it's mostly air mostly air blowing out so we're good There we go. Got that one, we got that one. We got that one. They seem to have not very many heads on every zone. They got like eight zones here. It's like it's really broke up and just like four heads per zone, five heads per zone. Check the controller, make sure the controller is in the opposition. Uh, don't take your customer's word for it. 
I did uh, shut the water off, by the way, because it wasn't shut off, but I didn't realize the controller was still on. There we go. Look at that one shoot out. So by the way, we lowered the pressure again to 45, 45 pounds. We got that one spraying out pretty good and that one spraying out pretty good. Set that one off, this one here. Off. On. Again, we got four heads per zone. See, so either that or they got really crappy water pressure here, and they're only running four, four heads on per zone. Sure, this is a huge yard. So, again, this one here is all missed. That's what you want to see. That one's all missed down there. That one down over there is missed. And this one's all missed. So, so I'm just having to notice a little bit of beauty in all this madness. And that beauty be right here. Actually, it looks like Nicole Chase picture on her uh, YouTube channel. There you go, Nicole. That's this one right here. Turn this off. I'm going to put the covers back on in a bit. For now, we're going to run down over here. Although I did hear air blowing through this thing. This one's not working. So this one, turn this one on. Air, air, and the last one. That one's off. That one's on. Oh, that is zone one. The zone one valve was way in back there. So, this is the one that was originally on that we were looking at. But everything looks good. It's empty. One's been on, so I'm sure one is totally empty. It's been on this whole time. Oh, good. She just shut the compressor off. Releasing the air that's held inside the compressor. So we'll get all the cables disconnected and we'll move on. Get all the holes disconnected and we'll move on. Okay, it's starting to rain on us. I just disconnected the holes from here. Take my connector off. Watch out for these vacuums. We don't want to break anything. So we're going to... 45 this, going to 45 that, we're going to keep this open, although I don't like how this is kind of pointed up like this, I don't like that. We're going to 45 that one, and we're going to 45 that one. Now, if any moisture is in here or anything wants to drain, it can still drain out. And there's no, not going to be any water left in here to, to cause problems. Okay? So we're good to go. We're going to wrap up this hose, get out of here. It is, uh, it is starting to rain, unfortunately. But you know what? We can get wet. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at the colors. What a nice image. Okay guys, well we're back finally. Uh, I have no idea what time it is. It's probably like eight o'clock. Oh. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. So I hope you guys have a great night. Y'all take care, and with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have yourself a great night. Take care, guys.